Hi, I'm John, or a lot of you guys will know me as Jag or Jagantech. And well, you read the title, it's been a while. It's been a while since I went ahead and put the U in YouTube, and honestly, I've missed it. I've missed talking to you guys, and I just want to talk to you guys, and hopefully a lot of people will be able to relate to this if there is anyone out there that still watches this channel. Guys, it's been probably about three years since I did so. I used to make checkup videos when I was younger all the time, um, but now I'd like to make another one. For a long time now, I've been on the ever-changing ride that we all know as life, and it's certainly been something, and I just want to go over it with you guys and how I'm feeling and talk to the viewer, you, um, and just talk about life and how it works and, you know, how I am and hopefully how you are and you can relate to it, as I said. So for one, I, uh, as a lot of you guys might know, as I posted it on my YouTube channel quite a long time ago, um, I had begun a one year streaming challenge about two and a half years ago at this point. Um, and I started streaming on Twitch. Um, and the goal with that was originally to, you know, eventually be able to become a big YouTube creator as everyone always wants to become. And it's always been my dream to become some sort of content creator um, in the content space. Um, I saw a bunch of success for a while in the Twitch streaming category of things, but that eventually did die down. I eventually did end up extending the streaming challenge to two and a half years. So I did make it to two and a half years. Um, I was very proud of myself while doing it, but towards the end, uh, the writing was on the wall that that was just not uh, meant to happen anymore. You, you know, the success that I had once dreamed about and hoped for and been optimistic about that uh, ended up going out the window. Um, and you know, sometimes things just aren't meant to happen. And I think that was honestly one of them. I actually took a trip to Europe as well recently, right after the streaming challenge ended. And it gave me a new perspective on life. And honestly, it's kind of why I'm making this video. Um, Europe does things a lot differently than where I'm from. Uh, for those of you that aren't aware, I live in Wyoming. Yeah, I know the place no one knows about. Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot different over in Europe. They, they take life a lot slower. Um, I got to experience some of the culture that Europe has. Uh, and I really liked it. I did, I, I got a lot of respect for my European friends. Um, and brothers and everyone over there, sisters, all of them. And then, so yeah, through the, uh, you know, the streaming challenge, a lot of you guys probably saw me posting on this YouTube channel a little bit, um, just posting stuff from streams and things, but never really, you know, a direct YouTube video, I guess you would call it. And this is, well, a direct YouTube video talking to you. But yes, through all of the streaming challenge and stuff that I did end up doing, I posted a lot of stuff on this channel from that. I made great events uh, that honestly, in my opinion, deserve to be even bigger than they were. They were very successful, but in the end, they didn't amount to anything more than just a great single event at the time. Um, and yeah, that was just, you know, kind of fun to do. Uh, but again, it was just kind of uh, something that was successful. And then it fell right back down into where <laughs> the hierarchy of content wanted to put me, um, which is a shame, but it is how it goes. But through all of that time and through really, I don't know, about the last three years, I guess I would say, it really has been about the last three years um, since I was really just on YouTube here talking. Um, I've had a lot of things that have happened and I, I wanna go through a lot of those. I wanted to preface this with the uh, story of you know the content creation and the streaming because that's where I've been and why this YouTube channel kind of has been vacant in terms of actually having somebody uh, as the face of it, you know, and I don't know how often I would post anymore. I'd love to be able to post a lot, um, but sometimes life doesn't allow that, obviously. Um, but in other news quickly, I am going off to college, so that's pretty cool. It's kind of interesting to document this as well. I figured, you know, this would be a great video to look back on in a few years, um, and hopefully, maybe, you never know, be like, wow, a lot has changed since then. So yeah, I'm, I'm headed off to college um, in the next about month, two months or so. 
um and i look forward to that i'm very excited you know i just want to preface how much i love making content still ever since i was young um i've had a big passion for you know just making content making youtube videos and just hopes that eventually something i try and i'll discuss all the things i have tried um actually ends up working out um because that's really all i want to do in life if i can you know make content for a, an audience no matter what it is if it's ten thousand people a million people it's it's really the one thing i want in life and i know a ton of people can relate to that and they're probably going you know yeah um <laughs> obviously but um yeah you know i dedicate a lot of my time into hopefully eventually being successful learning about content um learning about just what it all takes the analytics and ins and outs of all of that stuff and yeah i really do still just love making content me sitting down here you know i sat down here today because i love making content and this to me it's a very personal heartfelt content piece um to hopefully a lot of people that might be going through the same thing i am might be thinking the same way as i am uh, might be trying and pursuing their passions the same way i am um and yeah if you know if you're one of those like-minded people in that way uh feel free to leave a comment let me know like what you're achieving in life or striving for um because i always until i hopefully can succeed sometime in life so help me god um yeah hopefully i can eventually succeed with the one thing that i want in life you know but anyways let's talk about some of the struggles that i've had because we all have struggles in life um i've had a lot of struggles trying to achieve my goals achieve my dreams achieve what i want in life and you know i won't stop i won't stop until i eventually do succeed in it because i know it's what i meant to do eventually and you know the streaming did somewhat confirm that in some ways a lot of people you know they rallied around my streams a lot and i appreciate all those people and i appreciate a lot of people you know my mom uh she supports me a lot even without knowing uh you know how all of this stuff works uh my girlfriend shout out my cat my cat doesn't know anything but shout out him anyways what a what a great cat um but yeah all of them you know all, all these people um and all the people online that supported me through my streaming challenge too shout out shout out them you know who you are if you're watching this um but yeah i've you know i really tried a lot of different things once streaming kind of hit the fan and it was obvious that that wasn't going to be the path forward into extending a bigger content path uh, i did try a lot of other things too uh one of the most notable things being rps uh it's rock paper scissors it is a youtube channel that i have started with two friends i brought the idea to them about january of 2024 it would have been and it was supposed to be a channel uh, of three friends who basically went ahead and did a bunch of things that were unique to Twitch type stuff, stuff that people hadn't seen before. Kind of in the realm of, uh, I don't know, a, a YouTuber that some of you might know, Crispy Concords. Uh, I've always been a big fan of his. I think that his content is uh, stupendous. I think it's creative. Um, and I aspire to be like that type of creator someday. Um, and yeah, this I thought might be kind of in the realm of that when we started the the channel and you know it, it was pretty decently successful i'll pop it up on screen you know it, it was we got four videos out they were four very highly produced videos they obviously could have been much better but i was proud of them at the time and uh honestly i have a lot of regrets from that channel as uh my friend reggie uh ended up leaving it um about i don't know three months ago at this point and then hattie ended up i haven't heard from hattie who was the other friend on the channel for about two months now ever since he uh it seemed like he lost all motivation for it so yeah that's you know it's a shame um but that's one attempt and i put me and raggy specifically we put a lot of time and money into that channel uh we also hired an editor voltre shout out voltre love that guy um yeah we hired an editor um and he honestly is amazing uh he did the videos you know we, we paid him and stuff and blah, blah blah and yeah uh we put a lot of time and effort into it but once raggy left uh everything seemed to hit the fan and yeah the channel basically is dormant now 
Um, I would like to bring it back at some point because I still see a great vision um, for the videos and stuff. I think there's a lot and we put a lot of time in. I'm not I'm not kidding when I tell you like we spent so much time. You should see these docs. It's it's like tens of pages. There's, there's like 30 pages spread throughout like five documents, which is a lot of writing and a lot of planning and a lot of time and money, as I said. So, yeah, um, there was a lot there. And yeah, I mean, hopefully I can somehow bring it back in the future because I have a lot of passion for, well, content creation. And I thought that was a great way, you know, getting together a group of people. Um, it started out great. We had four videos. Three of them, I'd say, were mildly successful for a first channel. Like, I was proud of them. Um, and then, yeah, so that happened. And then also something I did want to mention as well that, again, a lot of you wouldn't know. And honestly, there's a lot of things that I'm going to mention just to kind of update a lot of you on just everything I've tried <laughs> throughout the, the, the years. Um, in 2019, actually, before COVID even, um, I started a channel called Reality is Game. Um, and this channel was kind of an IRL game variated prank version of like a prank channel, except it was something unique. Again, I'm very into like somewhat unique video ideas in a realm of something that's already there that I see potential in. And this it just didn't have enough to get off the ground either. Me and my friend, I actually had a friend who volunteered to help me film a video or two. Um, and then he eventually just ended up not being able to put the time into it. So we did end up filming about one and a half videos. I might pop up a video on screen here of uh, one of them. I think we did a, a, a what was it? Dropping V-Bucks in public video, I think is what it was. And that video, I th I, at the time, I was really proud of it. I thought it was really funny. I had never done anything in public or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that was kind of funny. Did I drop those? Yeah. Oh my God, man. Oh my God. Do you have kids? Do I have kids? Yeah. Do you want some of these, man? They love these. I don't know what they are. It's the new money for, for kids. Did you not hear about it? No. Yeah, Biden legalized it yesterday. Ah, oh, they won't like these? Yeah. It's too bad. Yeah, thank you guys. Hey, what's up guys? You accept V-Bucks, bro? No. I brought my V-Bucks today for you guys. Let me see him, bro. Oh. What is that? Oh, Biden just legalized it today. These these are real currency? Yeah, that's wow. like it's like Bitcoin. Wow, what? this is a lot of V-Bucks. Wait, what? That's a that's a lot of V-Bucks. Are you yes. for real? Yeah, it's like 25 cents each. What the f yeah. what? What? Wait. And you know, I do a lot different now on both of those channels. The reality is game channel, never saw the light of day. I'd love to bring that back too. You know, I'd love all of these. If only I had time and money to do all of it, you know, cause I'd love to be able to really dedicate every resource that I could to these. And I really do believe they'd be successful. I think there's a market for them. Um, and I think a lot of people would like to see them um, and they would brighten people's days. But yeah, b between RPS and reality is game, um, they both kind of just, went dormant because of a lot of reasons that I can't control it. This is just a big consistency in everything that I try and do in content, it seems. It's like you get started, you get off the ground, you start running, and then before it even really has a chance, it just dies. Aside from the streaming, in the streaming case, it was more of just a, uh, you know, the, the game and stuff I was streaming was dying slowly. Um, and that was just unfortunate. But with the, the YouTube channels and stuff, that's definitely the case. And this channel that I'm on right now, obviously the, the main channel that I started when I was in sixth grade, um, you know, it's, it, it'll always be my baby, even though uh, it has all sorts of stuff, even though I don't know if anyone cares about it anymore. I put a lot of time and effort into this channel over the years, trying to do what I could, you know, from Madden Mobile back when I started uh, with my friends and stuff to Omegle when I actually, it's a shame, man. I made Omegle videos before the trend even hit. Um, and if I had kept going, I think I would have had something there. I think that might've been my ticket, but yeah, it was it was too early 
Um, and then from there, I obviously didn't know enough about content, so I don't know if I would have been able to make it a thing anyways. Um, and then after that, I switched to Rocket League, and Rocket League was, you know, I put a lot of time and effort learning and stuff, but it wasn't successful either. So I really also tried a few other littler things uh, in terms of content, you know, from trying to make a uh, movie review TikTok and YouTube channel that I was very passionate about, and I still am. I actually uploaded one thing on it a while back and it didn't do horribly. Um, it was a movie about the wild robot. Great movie, um, by the way, fantastic movie. I would highly recommend anyone to watch that movie, especially if you're an adult, because there are some adult themes in that that I think really get to you and it got to me. But yeah, that's just another example. I really was consistent on that channel for a long time and it really didn't amount to much either, which is a shame again, but it's just, you know, you just gotta keep pushing sometimes. and. I encourage you, if you're watching this and you feel this way, you know, and nothing's going right, you just, you're working so hard, you're trying so many things and it's just not working, I encourage you to do what I'm doing and just keep pushing, you know, keep grinding. It will work out. I believe it. And if I believe it, you should too. I don't know. I don't, I don't have any backing behind that, but that's what I believe. And I think you should believe it too. And then, so one final thing I want to talk about here is uh, two other things in my content journey that have been a bit disappointing. Well, let's let's put it frank. It, it, they've been disappointing. They've been two of probably my biggest opportunities to where I saw something that I thought was going to be my magnum opus in my mind. It was like this is this is the one. This is this is the path um, to something successful or something you know bigger than myself and growing a community, being big, being successful, uh, yada 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 stuff like that. And the first one was when I was streaming um, and I made like my Rocket League events and my events in general. Um, there was this streamer named Hercules. Uh, a lot of you guys, if you're in the Rocket League scene or have ever watched Rocket League, Rocket League Esports, you'll know who she is. Um, she is a larger uh, Rocket League caster now and streamer. And she eventually, I raided her one time when I was in my streaming challenge. And she got talking to me about how I should reach out to her. She was interested. She saw my other events. Uh, she'd love to work together and that you know that hit a spot in my mind it, it was an itch in my mind i was like okay this this has got to be something you know it's it's a somebody that's semi-successful they know the success they're making this a career of their own that's what i want to do um and i was like they want to work with me they saw my work they think it's great right and they think it's fantastic and i was like wow <laughs> when she said that i was like wow so i reached out and we had a call and we talked about things and stuff like that and from there it really went places for a while. She gave me a bunch of stuff. She told me how she ran other events and stuff that were bigger um, and all sorts of tips and stuff. And we talked and talked for a while about events and getting an event going together at one point. Um, and then eventually the time came and um, I reached back out to her, no response. And then I reached back out to her again to follow up, no response. And then I reached back out a third or a fourth time. And these were, keep in mind, these were probably, I don't know, two to three weeks apart, realistically, each time I'd reach out. So it wasn't like I was bugging her like crazy or something. Uh, and just no response, no response, no response. I, I finally sent a DM on Twitter um, or X, uh, you know, being like, yo, are we going to do this? And I got no response. And that really just killed a lot of motivation I had for the events, for any belief I had in myself in succeeding in Rocket League. I thought that was finally going to be my one chance. And that no response after, you know, hyping it up, saying she loved my work, she loved what I was doing. Um, it killed me inside. If I'm being honest, it killed me inside. It killed everything. Just recently, the reason that I'm making this video on top of the other reasons I've stated previous, uh, something like that's happened again. And it's a shame because it just feels like anytime I get close to something kind of going my way and feeling like there's a way to get into bigger content and make it finally something really awesome, uh, it just always collapses and I don't know why. I don't understand why, I might never know why, but hopefully eventually one of these chances will go through. So the one that I'm talking about right now, uh, as of the one that has recently happened, that is very, you know, heart wrenching to me and very sad and very depressing to me is on Instagram. There is this big 
account that a lot of you guys might know. No Context NBA. He has around 300,000 followers. Uh, I've been a big fan of him for a long, long time. I even bought his merch uh, a long time ago, which is kind of funny. Uh, but his other big account, it's called Ristin. It's about 200k followers. He actually is starting a show on his YouTube channel. So subtle, subtle plug, I guess, for him. There you go. But yeah, he's starting a show on his YouTube channel. And I reached out. I was like, you know, I have a lot of, um, I have a lot of work that I've done in doing things, and I have experience with like all of these. And I sent him out all of my work and stuff. Uh, a podcast that I started in Rocket League that also blew up, but that was, you know, not anything too crazy to me. So I didn't really talk about that here, but. Yeah, like that was another thing that I sent. I sent him my events I had done. I sent him a website that I had made. I do have a website. It's very outdated at the moment. Um, but yeah, I just sent him a bunch of my work. I sent him the rock, paper, scissors stuff. Um, and he absolutely loved it. And I was like, you know, if, if you need somebody to work on this show with you, I want to work on this show with you. I see a lot of potential in this show and I still do. Um, it, it's basically a basketball show, which I love at the NBA. If you guys don't know, I'm a massive sports fan. Um, but yeah, I was like, you know, I love the NBA. I love this show idea. I think it's a great concept. Um, I love what your work is. I love all of it. I've seen it for ages. Um, so I reached out and he responded right away, um, saying he was super interested. And that to me, automatically, it gave me the Hercules thing again, where I was like, okay, I'm in. This has to be the break. It has to be the chance. Finally. It's like, finally, you know? Um, and so we talk again, we get in a call, we talk. Uh, we're talking, texting through the days. Um, and he's just saying like, you know, a lot of great positive things. We're reciprocating back and forth. It's just like the Hercules thing. A lot of great stuff, uh, back and forth, great communication. And then one day I just reach out and I'm, it's been like two, two, three days. Uh, the NBA season's coming up. It actually just debuted. What was it yesterday at the making of this video? Um, but yeah, it debuted yesterday and I'm like, you know, yo, bro, like we working on the thing. Like, is it, is it time? Cause you know, the original plan once we discussed was for me to help him write content, which I like writing content. Um, and I like doing that. He wanted me to be, be a big part of how the show looked, um, and just producing the show, content writing scripts for the show, stuff like that. Um, and I was like, this is great. You know, I can work behind the scenes, learn some more stuff. Um, get paid a little bit on the side and eventually, you know, maybe, maybe do something even bigger. You know, this is a great in. Um, and so we're talking and then he is silent for a while. I go ahead and message, no response. I go ahead and message again, no response. It's depressing. It is. It's, I laugh because I'm laughing at myself and how sad it is that this just happens to me over and over and, and over again. It's like any time that I try something, it's a fail. Any time that I see a light, it's a fail. Um, and it's just, I don't know what more I have to do, but you know, I, I know there's gonna be a lot of content creators and a lot of people that could relate to this. And this is why I wanted to put this video out. This is why I wanted to say this, you know, I wanted to let people know they're not alone in this because it, it's happening. And you know, the, the demotivation every time that I get, especially from the Hercules and the no context NBA situations, they are just, it's such a demotivating thing. And, and you know, these people, I have the utmost respect for them, but I don't get it to have people say they see a lot of great things in you to say they, they see so much and to say they, they want you to succeed and they want to help and blah, blah, blah. Um, and they're super excited about what you're bringing to the table just for them to basically, you know, run away from you. It, it's like when you were a kid on the school playground and your friends would go up to the girl that you liked back in like fifth grade and be like, yo, this guy's got a crush on you just for the girl to absolutely bolt the other direction. That's how this feels. <laughs> it's like, it's like you're right there with your crush and you're like, oh yeah, this might be my chance. And then they, they're gone. It's like, like, what do you do? <laughs> you know, it's, it's just such a demotivating thing. And these people, I don't even know if they know like how demotivating it is to like people that just can't seem to get their break. And it's like this everywhere in a lot of industries too. You know, Hollywood's a great example of this. So many starving like actors and stuff out there that just have so many opportunities that just aren't meant to be. And it seems like every time I have an opportunity, it's just not meant to be no matter what I try. 
Um, but someday I will figure it out. Someday it will happen. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to make this video and talk to you guys in hopes that somebody can relate to this story. Um, I wanted to give you guys a bit of a life update, which I have. We're headed off to college soon. I hope people relate. Um, I don't want pity or anything. This is more of a, I want people to be able to relate. Um, because I know there's people that can. And if I can share my story and have people be like, oh yeah, that's, that's relatable. That's kind of how I'm feeling. That's what I like. If you're watching this video, I hope you have a fantastic day. Um, and I don't know what the next video on this channel will be, but hopefully it's something cool. <laughs>